Do you need to send a contract to a client? Let me show you how with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing I want to do is go up to the top left hand corner where it says my forms and we're going to click on my sign documents. Next, we'll click the green create sign document button. And if you already have a PDF version of your document, you can always use the upload document option. But for this, I'm going to go ahead and use a template. Now you can do this a couple of ways. You can always utilize the search option at the top. If you have specific keywords you'd like to look for or over on the left hand side, you can see we have a contract option here, but we have a contract template right here at the very top. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. It's an influencer contract template. Now, one thing that I like to do before I make any changes is I like to take a scroll just to see what I'm working with. I can see that we have two different people who are going to need to sign. We have a blue and an orange. So if we click on any of the fields, we can see who is what. So the influencer is going to be the person in blue and then me is going to be in orange. So if I scroll down, you can see down here we have our signature fields. Now, if there is any field that is missing from here that you would like to add in, it's very similar to Jotform Form Builder. So over on the left hand side, if I click on add fields, we can just drag and drop something in wherever we would like. And you can see as soon as it populated our properties menu opened on the right, we can make any changes here, maybe change this to me, make it not required. And then of course we have some other options as well. But for me, I don't need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the trash. Then up at the top, we have a couple of tabs I wanna go through. Settings, if you need to change the name of your contract, you can do that here. Email settings, we can always put please sign ASAP. If you have any integrations, you can do that here. But the send tab is where the magic happens. So we can see it automatically populated me as the person who is requesting the influencer, but we need to add in the influencer. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in now. And you can see at the right hand side of everyone who's going to receive this, we have a key and we have a message. Now the key is going to be if you would like for them to have a passcode or a password to access the document. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this one, two, three. And then the message bubble is going to be a private message just to that specific person. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to let them know that the passcode is one, two, three. And you can see anyone who has a passcode or a message, it's going to have that blue hue to it. Now we also have some options if you need an expiration date, if you need reminder emails, or if you wanna turn on signer delegation, we can do that. But I'm gonna head back over to recipients. Now, if I hit send a sign right now, both the influencer and me are going to get this at the exact same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I want to receive this first to fill in all the details. Then once I'm done and have signed, it'll go to my influencer to finalize the contract. Now, in order to do that, we're going to turn on signing order right here. You can see number one, number two, all we need to do is click on these dots move me up to the top and we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and send a sign. All right, so let's head to our emails and let's see what this looks like. All right, so I'm in my email and we can see the general message to everyone, please sign ASAP. So I'm gonna go ahead and review and sign document. And we can see it did say 21, but it dropped down to 18 because it went ahead and pre-filled in some information. So I'm gonna head down to the bottom just for time's sake. And our sign field is pretty amazing. So. If you want to just leave it like this, you can automatically sign it. If you want, you can change the style, the color, or we can change it over to draw and you can draw your signature. All right, I'm going to go ahead, sign and complete and then accept and send. Now let's head over to my influencers email and we can see the general please sign ASAP message, but we also have the private message to me letting me know my passcode. So I'm going to go ahead and review and sign document and we'll enter in our passcode to validate. And we had nine fields jump down to seven because it pre-populated it for us. So let's jump down to the bottom. We'll go ahead and sign, then sign and complete and accept and send. Now I want to take you back over to Jotform and up in the top left hand corner where it says sign builder, we're going to change it over to inbox. And we can see our document here in all documents, but it also lives over in completed. So if we scroll down, we see our document, but we also have this additional document at the end, which is an audit trail. Now this is going to tell us every step of the process, where it was and when, and this will be very valuable to us as the form creator, but it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing Jotform sign to send a contract, let us know and I'll see you next time.